Hey everybody, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. We're in Naples, Florida today. It's about 83 degrees. Let's go see what's in the fridge. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is Torch Pilsner, and, they're, and this is from Foothills, and they're out of Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Been there several times, and met the, uh, met the, uh, the brewmaster there, the head brewer, the guy that runs it, Jamie Bartholomew and his, uh, his wife, uh, and uh, Scott Smith. I met several people there from there, and they're all great people. They do good stuff, love their beers. Uh, I've done two other ones that, that uh, were in the bottle bomber bottle like this, and this is the first time I'm going to review the Torch Pilsner. All right, guys, it says a balanced beer made with Czech size hops. Torch presents a well structured, highly drinkable Pilsner experience. Alcohol is 5.3%, and the IBUs are 35. Uh, I've looked on it. It may be some kind of digital code or, or, or dating on the bottle somewhere, but it's got condensation on it. I can't see it. Nothing on the label here, guys. So uh, The beer is year-round serving for them, so they do this uh, year-round. The food pairing cuisine is the curry, Indian, and the Thai, Chinese, Japanese, Pan-Asian. All these Pilsners and these lagers, light lagers, go with just about everything. The cheeses are sharp blue and cheddar. The glassware is a flute, pilsner glass, puckle, the mug, the, the stains, the uh, slender cylinder is what a stain is. And uh, the stein, I've got, uh, this is what I'm going to use today, guys. This is my pilsner glass. The, uh, the beer is not recommended for extended cellar, it's being a 5.30 ABV, and having a date on it would make that important, wouldn't it? So. That's the only thing that I know that I can hack on it right off the bat. It doesn't have a date on it that's legible when it's cold. And we're not going to pour this super aggressive because I don't want a three inch head. But we, we do a little bit of a head here. Well, maybe we won't. Alright guys, a lot of bubbles screaming up on that one. Pours a very golden clear. Can see right through it. A lot of bubbles, very macro lager looking, but I'm sure that it is not. No adjuncts used in producing this beer. I can pretty much guarantee you that, guys. Uh, like I said, the Saz hops give it a herbal, spicy uh, aroma and taste. So, uh, pretty, pretty standard European hops for pilsners and, and lagers over there, guys. So, let's get a nose on it. Looks pretty good in the glass. Definitely tell the size hops in this with the, the spicy herbalness and floralness of it. Of course, you got the graininess and, and the breadiness to go along with that, too. Pretty typical smell from the Pilsners, but what I like to call the lawnmower beers. So, guys, cheers. And it's nice, uh, like 90 degrees outside. Time for a lawnmower beer, right? <laughs> Very sessionable, very easy drinking, very nice spiciness to this beer. Definitely tell the size hops in this, the herbalness and the spiciness. Pretty clean and really refreshing. It's a very nice beer. I've had it before. I've poured this beer before. Uh, at the festivals and stuff, so uh, this is the first time they've actually get to review it in the bottle. So guys, I, I like this beer. It's, uh, it's pretty impressive. They're only about three hours away from here, and I try to support the, the little guys as much as I can, and I want to support these guys too. Uh, I like this beer. Uh, if I was to be a Pilsner slash lager drinker now, you would see a lot of these in my, my fridge because uh, nothing unpleasant about this beer. Very clean, very crisp. 
very refreshing on a hot day. Fairly low ABV, fairly sessionable, guys. I'm going to sip on it let the other half taste it again. She likes it. I know she does. And we'll be right back and do the final grade and chug on this one. But I like it. Hey right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left. And then I look now on the bottle. And it's got something digitized on the bottom. And I can't even make it out with the beer not in there. So how are you supposed to read that with the beer in there? Uh, that's horse hockey as far as I'm concerned. That's the only thing I can hack on them about on this beer. Otherwise, this is a, it's a fairly decent uh, Pilsner. Uh, a lot of size hops in this gives it the herbal, spicy uh, aroma and taste, and uh, kind of bready like most of them are, and thin, and, and I don't want to say watery, but they're, they're kind of sessionable, and thin beer is kind of grainy, kind of grassy. Final chug. That's some very nice lacing on the side of the glass. Not a lot of your macro lockers will do that. Uh, very nice. Uh, all I can say is, need a date on the bottle, something that's uh, legible on the label or written in yellow. That they're going to use that digitized equipment up on the neck where we can read it and we ain't got to stand on our heads so look without a date or a code. So, guys, with that being said, I like this beer. Uh, I'm going to give it an 8. It's an A minus. And uh, I'd probably give it a 9 if it had a date on the label. It's a very nice, easy drinking Pilsner made with good stuff. Uh, I don't think the distribution is real big on this beer. Uh, they're uh, they're just up and coming brewery, and uh, uh, they, they make it up here, which a lot of North Carolina beers do not. So I don't know how far I go out, guys. So if you see this and you're a Pilsner fan, and you like that kind of beer. It's not my type, but it's a good bomb war beer. It's what I call these beers, and this is made with the good stuff, and uh, they're good people. So if you see it, pick it up, give it a try. Uh, beer Abbott comes up with uh, 85, and Rate Beer has 66 overall and 90 in the style. So somebody's saying it's fitting the style pretty good there, and it's a very tasty beer. It is a very tasty beer. Good Pilsner, guys. See it? Pick it up. Give it a try. Come on back tomorrow. We're going to look at the fridge. See you then.